With a 32% increase in violent crime, one might expect the government with the CBSA or police officers to invest in those authorities, but no. Instead, they want to ban hunting weapons. And academic experts said yesterday this is going to cost an additional billion dollars. That's money that could have been used to protect our borders and crack down on street gangs. Why not uh, protect people instead of targeting hunters? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'd like to reassure my colleague and all, everyone here that this bill doesn't target hunters and owners of guns. It targets assault weapons, assault weapons that have been used in Nova Scotia, Quebec, and Ontario. They've caused a lot of casualties, and that's precisely why we need to work together to better protect all Canadians with uh, policies that make sense. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. ...that the Minister has provided in his very legislation it is not assault rifles, it is hunting rifles. Let me list, list off some of the rifles. The Montefeltro Super 90 Turkey, the Mossberg 715T, Tactical 22 Duck Commander, the Benelli Super Black Eagle Ducks Unlimited. These are firearms specifically designed to hunt small fowl and to go after vermin and other farm pests. Why won't the government target real crime rather than targeting farmers and hunters? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I assure my colleague that we're going to work with the members of the Standing Committee on Public Safety uh, with regards to this amendment. But more importantly, our goal here is to target those assault-style rifles, those AR-15-style guns, which have been used in far too many casualties in port au -Pic, in Quebec, in, in Ontario where most recently we saw two frontline police officers gunned down. Mr. Speaker, I don't know how anyone can look the families of the victims in the eye and say that we can't do everything that is necessary to, to take these guns off of our streets. These AR-15s have no place on our streets, Mr. Speaker. The leader of the opposition. Well, he's doing nothing to take uh, dangerous guns off the street. In fact, 82% of guns used in crime in Toronto, according to the city's police, come smuggled across the border. He's done nothing about that, but he wants to spend another billion dollars wow. going after uh, rifles and shotguns that are specifically designed and used by hundreds of thousands of law-abiding and licensed Canadians for hunting. And these are law-abiding people who have been vetted by the RCMP. Why does he keep targeting the lawful people rather than keeping the illegal guns out? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, my honourable colleague from the Conservative Party can continue to spread disinformation, but I will tell you very clearly that on this side of the House, we are targeting those AR-15 style guns which have been used in mass casualties. And this is part of a broader plan, a plan that will actually eradicate gun violence. Mr. Speaker, he talks about supporting CBSA. This government puts $138 million into the CBSA to stop illegal smuggling. What did the Conservatives do, Mr. Speaker? They voted against. That's wrong. They should support frontline law enforcement so we can stop illegal smuggling of guns at our borders. Mr. Speaker, listen to this. Well rooted in the history of Quebec, hunting allows us to reconnect with nature and escape from everyday life. Whether you hunt for the challenge or the quality of the meat, this activity is within everyone's reach. Who said that? The Quebec government. Also, the Conference Board of Canada said that in 2018, nearly 3, millions Canadians, 3 million Canadians took part in hunting, trapping, sports shooting and fishing activities. This industry supported nearly 100,000 jobs. Does the minister understand that hunters are not a threat to society and stop this madness? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, I fully agree with my colleague. We have a lot of respect for hunters, but this bill and all this government's policies target criminal elements, target assault-style guns that have been used in tragedies all across Canada. That's why the Conservatives have to change their position. They want to make 
assault weapons legal once again, and that's bad. Thank you very much.